Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess, which is my desk. And I had a really cool toy turn up for me today. Now, this isn't a model airplane. Again, the box is a little bit too small, but it comes in super handy because maybe you're just like me and you go to the flying field and you do a great big sack of batteries. Maybe that you do to 2.24 S's. Maybe you also do two or maybe eight 1.3 uh, 3 S batteries. And maybe you, you also rag around your tech sumo far too much and you get for a pair of 2.23 S batteries, for example, or maybe more. So let me just put these out of the way a second because what I've got in this box is gonna help me and also you charge up your batteries from the flying site a lot damn quicker. Now, the thing is, is that when you've got one of these chargers, you've only got one charge lead on it. So the way around this is a parallel balance charging board. Now, you can pick these up on eBalls for a couple of quid. I picked this one up for eight pounds, so let's say about $15 or something uh, USD. So let's go and open her up and let's take a look at her. So there's the packaging and we want that cable there and uh, I can't read the uh, instructions because they are all in Chinglish. So let's get those out of the way. So here's our balanced charging plate as they call it on here, but it's actually a parallel ba balance and charging board. Now the thing is, is that this is really simple to use. It's just that there's not very, very many decent videos on you balls which explain to us how they use, uh, how they work, and why you would use them. Now before we go any further, it's really, really important to note you cannot mix batteries. Okay, so the, the pair of batteries which I've got there, they're both 2.2, and they are both 4S batteries. You couldn't chuck in for example, a 1.6 4S battery in the charge. You sh couldn't include a smaller 1.3 or even a larger battery uh, to the mix. They, the batteries need to be exactly the same cell count and they also need to have the same current rating on them as well. So with the boring techie stuff out of the way, let's move this out of the way. Now I've got my charger here. So let me unplug that and I need that lead there. So I've been and got my normal charge lead and I'm gonna plug this in uh, to the lead which comes with that one. So uh, depending on what connectors you've got, again, I'm gonna chop that off and put an XD60 on there, is that now we are charging this board. Now the way which this works is really, really simple. So let me grab something so I can point this out to you. Aha, a carbon fiber rod. So what we've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six XT60 connectors. And this is where we plug our batteries in as you would normally do. So let me go and plug this in. And by the way, it doesn't matter which one you plug it in, as long as you plug it in one of them. Now, if your balance lead is that you'll see all the way down the side here is that you've got all the different sizes of balance connector lead. And this is why you should uh, be using just uh, all matched batteries. So I'm going to plug this in the right one, which I think is that one there. And again, I need to get that the right way round. There we go. So if you can see that, I've been unplugged the first battery in and I've got it plugged into the right balance lease plug. Uh, now let me go and grab the other one. So I'm going to plug that in the middle, get that the right way round. He says, yep, yeah, push it harder. And let me go, and again, just to make the point, I'm gonna choose one up the side. It doesn't matter which one we plug it in, long as it fits in completely like it has done there. So I've now got two batteries on here, and I can charge these both at the same time. But it's also a really important note, I'm gonna put a big red screen up uh, on in front of you right now, and I never do that in any of the video tutorials and anything which I cover on my channel. So this is super important. Before you do that, these two batteries, or if you added four more batteries on here, they all need to be around the same charge level. And the reason for that is because right now, the cells in this battery are trying to charge the cells in the other battery because we've got the balance leads connected. If we had one very flat battery and one full battery, 
the full battery will try and balance itself out on the flat battery. So this only really works when you've got batteries at a similar discharge rate, which if you're ragging the living daylights out of your planes, uh, they're all at 10% or less. So you'll be fine with those. So let's put the board down. Now, this is where other, other people I've seen get stuck with, but it's actually super simple. This first battery is 2.2. This one's also 2.2, and it's also 4S. So when it comes around to your charger, so let me move this around so you can see it on the screen, is that I'm going to go and choose LiPo balance. Now, we need to add 2.2 to 2.2, which is pretty straightforward, isn't it? That's 4.4. So we need to go up to 4.4 four like so and these are 4s batteries so i'm gonna oh, go on the right one and change that to 4s so you'll see that i've got 4.4 and 4s so i've doubled it because i've got two batteries in here and we want to charge them at 4.4 not 2.2 and then if i hold down start wait for it to do its check and confirm out And he could have told me we needed the other wire. How embarrassing. This other cable fits into the largest port which you've got on the side of your charger. So we need to plug that one in. And then that plug there then fits in on the top of our balance in charge board. So I'm just going to plug that in there like so. Excellent. Now we won't get any messages when we go to charge it. So let me move that up there so you can see it on, your, on the camera. So we've got LiPo balance, super important because we want to balance charge these. We've got it set at 4.4. So if I added a third battery, which is also 2.2 and also 4S, is that I would then set that to 6.6 .6 or 8.8, .8, whatever your charger can handle. And also a little tip here is that you will need a power supply which can deliver the amount of current. Now, obviously, if I was charging up a smaller 1.3 battery, then just two of these would be 2.6, 3.9, and so on and so forth. So this time around, if we then press enter, do our battery check, and bingo, we are now balanced charging two batteries at the same time. So instead of them taking, uh, at, say, two hours to complete, they're only going to take an hour. Now, I left that boo-boo in there about this lead on purpose just to show that I'm not super perfect at times and we need that balance lead. So that balance lead will then do all the way from 2S all the way up to 6S on our balance board, which is the same as what our charger can do. And just to, again, just to reconfirm, we can only do this which are batteries of the same cell count and also the same size. Now, of course, when I go out and fly maybe the Baby Bonsai, the Wing Wing, uh, and a collection of other models, I get through a lot of these 1.3 batteries. You've probably heard the battery charger on uh, numerous other of, uh, of my videos on YouTube because I'm just charging these all day. And a balance board for what was eight quid off eBay, if it means that I can charge my batteries faster, it means that I can get to the flight line and have more fun flying my models rather than being sat at home waiting for my batteries to charge. Now before I go I just want to show you a couple of photos which I've literally just been taken from my charging station. Now the first charger in front of us was for a 2.2 3S battery and that took 73 minutes and 53 seconds to charge. The other smaller battery which was a 2S uh, 1,000 milliampere hours, that took 50 minutes and 36 seconds. Now, the reason why I'm showing you these two is because now on your screen, you can see that the balance board has been and charged almost completely to 4S 2,200 milliampere hour batteries in about one hour and 20 minutes. Now, obviously I hit the timeout on the charger. I do need to go and tweak that. But for two batteries for almost the same amount of time, and if that little 2S battery took over like almost an hour, that's how much time you could save in your charging of your batteries. And like I said, this means that you can get out on the flight line 
faster. So for myself, Matt, I sincerely hope this video has been and helps you. Balancing charging board, they're super cheap. You can charge your batteries faster. And with that said, for myself, Matt, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheerios.